Hi guys, my name is Bethany and this is A Faye in the Life. Today I'm gonna to be showing you a HelloFresh remake. We did HelloFresh about a year ago and we really enjoyed a few of the meals and have incorporated them into our meal rotation on WW. One of those meals was the pineapple pork tacos. I'll link the original video in the description below. You can also click the eye up above if you'd like to check that out. Our family loves Taco Tuesday as much as the next, so we are going to go ahead and get started so we can enjoy. I love guacamole, so I enjoy making my own fresh at home. I got this container on Amazon. It's a guacamole keeper, and I'll tell you more about that later, but that's what I'm gonna be putting everything into. I just went ahead and cut the lime into wedges. I'm going to be using that for both the guacamole and the pico de gallo. As for the avocados, you're gonna to wanna to look underneath the stem when you're at the store picking them out and see that it is green. Also, they will have a little bit of give when you press on them, but they're not going to be squishy and they won't be too hard. And then you'll know that when you open it up, it's gonna be a beautiful green color inside. So to remove the seed, I just tap it with a knife, give it a twist and it pops right out. Then just throw that away. And then I like to just score the meat of the avocado and then I just scoop that out into a container. I'm using three avocados today, so I'm just going to repeat that process with each of them until they are all chopped up and then place them all into a container. Next up is our tomato. This is optional for the guacamole. You don't have to add it. I just love tomato, so I love having it in the guacamole. The pico de gallo is a tomato based, so you're going to want to have it for that. I'm just going to dice the tomato and then I'll add it to my avocado and then I'll add it in a separate bowl for my pico. The next thing I did was dice a red onion. I really prefer red onion in my guacamole and pico just because it has a bolder flavor. I'm gonna add that to both the guacamole and the pico de gallo. I prefer using a red onion because I really enjoy the bold flavor it gives, but you can always use a sweet onion or a white onion if you prefer. And then last but not least, I'm going to chop up some fresh cilantro. I know for some people, cilantro can taste like soap, so if you are one of those people, go ahead and leave this out. But if you enjoy it like I do, add as much as you like. You're just gonna want to dice it as fine as you can. Add as much as you'd like into your guacamole and your pico. Now that everything's chopped up in our pico de gallo, I'm gonna add some taco seasoning, salt and pepper and then mix that up really well with some lime juice. That's really all that I do to it, and I'm just gonna set that aside and let those flavors melt together. For the guacamole, I'm going to add salt and pepper and taco seasoning. I'm just going to mix everything together really well. You can also mash the avocado before you add everything else to it if you prefer a smoother guacamole, but I like my guacamole a little bit chunky. That's why I didn't mash my avocado before I added everything else to it. After everything's mixed together, you're gonna wanna add some lime juice. It does help keep the guacamole from turning brown as quickly, but it also lends really good flavor to the guacamole. You're gonna wanna mix everything together really well. And then you are going to want to put plastic wrap directly on the guacamole in whatever container you're using, and then make sure you seal it with an airtight lid. Like I mentioned before, I found this guacamole container on Amazon. I actually got one for me and for my mom, and we both love it. We both enjoy making fresh guacamole, and this has been the first container I've had that has truly kept the guacamole good for a long time. I think I've had guacamole last about a week in the fridge without turning brown, which is really great for meal prep and everything because Kennedy and I are the only ones that eat guacamole. So when I make a dish like this, I can't eat all of that in one sitting. So it's nice to be able to keep it fresh so that I can use it on salads or other meals throughout the week. But as you can see here, I just wanted to show that it really does keep it fresh and it looks great. You just mix it up and it's good to go. 
So I just set that in the fridge so that the flavors could melt together before I made the pineapple pork tacos. I'm going to be using peppers and onions, the pico and the guacamole, canned pineapple that is unsweetened and has no sugar added. And then I have my lime as well as some low carb taco tortillas. So I'm just going to add the onions and peppers to a pan and saute those down. For the pork, I actually pre-cooked it. I put a one pound pork loin in the Instant Pot with enough water to cover it as well as half the can of pineapple. And then I just pressure cooked that on high for about 15 minutes until it was done. You could also use ground beef, you can use ground turkey or ground chicken. Once the peppers and onions were just tender, I went ahead and added in the pork so that could warm through and then added in the rest of the can of pineapple. I used fajita seasoning. You could also use taco seasoning if you'd like. And then once everything was warmed through, I went ahead and prepped the tacos how we like. For mine, I had a quarter of the filling mixture for three points. I had a quarter cup of the Sargento reduced fat shredded Mexican cheese for three points. I had four of the keto low carb tacos, which are the small ones, and four of those are one point. And then I had two tablespoons of the guacamole. So my total for this dinner was nine points. My family loves these pineapple pork tacos and Kennedy and I love my homemade guacamole and pico de gallo. I hope that you enjoyed this recipe video. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Also make sure you subscribe to my channel. I do put out new videos every week and I hope to see you guys again soon. Bye.